Thank you, madam. Madam, though these numbers of attacks on journalists has gone up and down, yes. it is worrisome. Even 41, which is the latest, puts us in the category of countries which are in a different category, non-democracies, unstable countries. We get two types of standard responses from the union government. Uh, one is that these are state subjects. Of course, they are state subjects. And another is, as the Honorable Minister has said, that the existing laws are adequate for the protection of citizens, including journalists. But the fact is, Madam, the reality is that these attacks are happening, and there is a demand for new laws. For example, recently there was an attack on doctors. That was in Mumbai, but it happens <laughs> everywhere. It happens in my state, in everybody's state. Whether for doctors or journalists, for special category, there has been demand for laws because the, adequate, the, because the current laws probably are not adequate. My question to the Honorable Minister is, will you consider modernizing some of these laws or at least the rules by which the laws are implemented? Just yesterday we saw that a court summons was issued on WhatsApp, which is a messaging app, which means the courts themselves are today looking at modernizing their processing. Will the Honorable Minister commit to reviewing these laws yes. and modernizing at least the rules, if not the laws. Yes. Yes, Minister. Diksha Ji, Manya Sadasari Ji, who has asked us to bring the law in the law, we have to bring the law in the law. Now, I will say that there is no such thing in the law. But we can give everyone to the law in the law. It seems that we can give everyone to the law. That's why we have to bring the law in the law in the law. और ये सतत प्रक्रिया मानी जा सकती है इसमें कभी मौका आने के बाद में ये चेंजेस आ सकते हैं इतना मैं कह सकता हूँ